in the future, it's not companies that have a uh, hundred employees right now. They have ten employees. Companies that have a thousand employees, they have a hundred. Companies that have ten thousand, they have a thousand. And w- w- the size of many of the businesses will shrink with an order of magnitude because the uh, the people inside these companies will be way more capable because of the AI and mm. the intelligent automation. And 25 to 75% of all work will be either fully or partially automated. Uh, of uh, c- Work on a computer will be partially or completely automated in the next 10 years. And that's why it's important to not only give the software to the people and, and many leaders are thinking, um, yeah, I bought the software and then the user will use the software. Mm. No, it's it's about how well the user uses the software. And this is something we are actually measuring mm-hmm. with our ad- adoption reports. Um, yeah. Since we're talking about the numbers, tell me tell me about the <laughs> adoption report. Uh, uh, we discussed it in the beginning and then uh, you and the team, you made it happen. Tell me what are we measuring right now in terms of adoption? Give me the top three. Yeah. Um, one of the one of the coolest things that um, we're measuring right now, I believe, is how effectively you're prompting, you're uh, chatting with uh, the language model, right? And what is what does effective mean? Usually, it means that we have to keep th- the best conversations right now, um, given the how the technology has evolved and has developed in the current state of the technology are conversations that are mainly focused. So that means that they need to be slightly shorter. They, you cannot have, again, because of, the, because of the, the, the technological limitations, this will change in the future. Like we will have long-term memory, we will have all of those things. Uh, but currently, you cannot have one endlessly long thread that you keep adding new messages to and thinking now it's going to remember everything I've previously said. It doesn't work like that. Usually, the way that you want to go in is you go in, you have a specific problem you want to solve. Maybe you can reuse some of the uh, context from a conversation, but you still need to keep it focused and targeted. And we are measuring this by... Um, we're going to get a little bit technical. I don't want to get too technical, but we're measuring this based on the number of messages that you send and how long is, you know, your thread. It's a ratio of number of messages for mm. the context that you keep um, sending to uh, the model and getting back from the model. And our team is doing really well, although sometimes when you, uh, for example, are on sales calls, you add messages in... Um, old chats and really long chats and oh. uh, you're currently probably the only person who's like all in red you're a low efficiency because Me? yeah i'm in red now yeah i think so oh i joined i joined <laughs> your inefficient chats yeah i'm, I'm uh, uh dear Not listeners i'm Not extremely effective and efficient <laughs> at using chat gpt gpt technologies any models i'm I'm good at it. Yeah, you are. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but when you give demos, you use some really good chats that have already finished. They have wrapped up, right? I know. And you're sending a new message and you're just... just I know exactly what you mean. (laughs) I know exactly what you mean. And I I saw that my... The the, the redness is is increasing. And I'm like, did we change the way we're measuring effectiveness of the chats? (laughs) And why am I I a bad user now? (laughs) Okay. Yeah. In- inherited. Yeah. Uh, it is. It, it's that. Uh, but that's something that team leads, um, especially, can pay attention to when they're um, looking at how well their team is adopting. It shows a level of. Un- if you're in the green, because we have a measure, like you can be super effective, you can be, you know, moderately effective, and you can be completely not good at it. If you're mostly in the green, that's great. Like that means that you're having focused conversations. You understand how the technology works. Mm. And that's a really important one. You need to understand what the technology is. It's not just, it's not like chatting to a human. It's not like I'm going to give you information once you're going to remember it and I will forever reap the benefits. It's not like that. It's chatting to a language model. (laughs) It just works differently. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, I want to um, just underline, th- these are things that w- not only we are measuring, we are providing these reports to every w- business that is using our platform mm. so they can see it for themselves and they can change their behavior 
based exactly. on um, this feedback. It was really funny when we launched it. Uh, initially, when we launched it, we noticed that um, one of our junior employees was having some really bad chats, like really bad chats. And she was, <laughs> she was, she was quite upset, like uh, in the first week after launching. And I paid attention to um, the how reports, yeah, how it improved. And she's not having, like, she's virtually not having bad chats anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so nice. it makes sense. We, I gave her feedback. I recorded a video, and and she changed uh, the way she chats now. Nice. Uh, this shows how important it is to use your own product and to, yeah. <laughs> to build a product which is useful for yourself. This is how we started in the beginning. Mm. We built it for ourselves and we are um, still using it. 